At issue, federal authorities say the rancher's cattle are on public land illegally. All this is unfolding just outside Bunkerville, Nevada, some 80 miles northeast of Las Vegas. A report from NBC's Joe Fryer. It's a standoff reminiscent of the old Wild West, pitting the federal government against Clive and Bundy and his family of ranchers. Our battle is about who owns this land. For a week, rangers rounded up the Bundy's cattle in rural Nevada, saying the cows were grazing illegally on federal land. Hundreds of protesters, some of them armed, came to the family's defense, prompting the government to bring its roundup to an abrupt halt. The battle escalated with a confrontation captured on video and posted to YouTube. The federal government says protesters were blocking a road, assaulting authorities and their dogs. Officers then fired a taser at a member of the Bundy family. They had the weapons, they had the dogs, and we had no nothing except us. They, we were almost equally numbered, and then they were the aggressors. This dispute dates back more than 20 years. The Bureau of Land Management says the Bundys have failed to pay grazing fees and now owe the government more than $1 million. The courts have ruled that his cattle are in trespass. The courts have demanded that he remove his livestock. So rangers moved in this week to start impounding the cattle, but the Bundys haven't backed down, saying their family has ranched this range since the 1800s. Get off our land. Period. Give us back our property. On social media, they've called it a range war. With each passing day, more and more protesters arrive to support the Bundys, one of them carrying an AK-47. I'm willing to lay my life down. Today, with only about half of the 900 cattle rounded up, the BLM ended its operation, citing serious concern about the safety of employees and members of the public. But the war over who controls this range is far from over. Joe Fryer, NBC News.